Since World War II, the United States of America has been involved in more foreign conflicts than any other nation. Presidents of both political parties have told us that the United States must umpire the world's conflicts and that if the U.S. does not do this job, the world will not be safe. The international system that was set up at the end of World War II is not functioning as well as it should. I think that the world is fragile. If the United States steps back from the historic role we've played since World War II, the world will come apart at the seams. Yet the costs of leadership are high. In a world of rich nations, why does the U.S. have to shoulder this burden, mostly alone? We've made it very difficult for other countries to play a role because they don't see the need to. They know that we'll do it. American allies are very, very adept at telling the Americans arguments as to why the Americans must do this, must do this project. If you don't do it, no one will do this project, and the world will end. Why are we acting as the world's policemen? And I think the American public really would like to have an answer to that question. In this hour, we will examine the history and the future of America's military commitments abroad.